Now, in the UK, amid a citizens being crushed by skyrocketing prices, a survey shows that Britons are now calling Brexit a mistake. Polls show that 55% people say that they want to rejoin the European Union in May. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that Brexit is delivering benefits. But polls show a completely different picture. Will Brexit prove fatal for Britain? Our next report shows you the complete picture. Take a look. The United Kingdom is facing the heat from its own citizens. Britons have had enough. They're sick of being trampled on by the financial crisis. An annual poll was conducted to ask people how they feel about Brexit. This year's survey also surprised the pollsters. A survey by YouGov shows that 57% Britons are against the Brexit move and at least 55% voted to rejoin the European Union. Nearly 63% people see Brexit to be more of a failure than a success. Let us remind you, this comes after Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced that Brexit is delivering benefits. He cited the policy of free ports and VAT cuts, which he said would make beer cheaper. Are citizens really concerned about the price of beer right now? Where did Britain go wrong with the Brexit move? Let's tell you what the former leader of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, had to say. Farage promised that Brexit would be a boon, but now he himself says that it was a big mistake. This should not come as a surprise. You see, Brexit deterred businesses from investing in the United Kingdom. This was one of the major hits to the economy. Britain is in the grips of a cost of living crisis. Millions can no longer afford what they once thought of as basics. Thousands of businesses have urged the government to renegotiate the Brexit deal. Experts say the post-Brexit landscape has made commercial life infinitely harder. But it's not only the numbers. Officials said that a hit to the GDP would be worth it as long as Brexit fulfilled their promises. What were these promises? The most cherished one was a reduction in the number of immigrants. But the reality shows a completely different picture. In 2022, net migration in the United Kingdom hit a record high of 606,000. Sunak said that the legal immigration levels were too high. The government is also battling record levels of asylum claims from migrants. But the UK is still inviting foreign workers as it is falling short of labourers. The government has relaxed visa restrictions for a number of sectors. But why is this happening? You see, EU citizens aren't allowed to work in the UK without a visa due to Brexit. Many workers returned home during the COVID-19 pandemic. This caused major vacancies in the workforce in the United Kingdom. The government has made a shortage occupations list to help fill vacancies. Experts say that the damage caused by Brexit may keep piling up. The more people quit their jobs, the worse the economy gets. This will lead to higher interest rates, which will squeeze incomes. This will ultimately make the protests louder and citizens angrier. Will the government realize the wounds caused by Brexit? Bureau Report, we on. Wild is one. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.